Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for what could potentially be the easiest money method build on Gran Turismo 7. Now this one, you barely have to do anything. You've got to buy a couple of things, which one of them you probably don't even need. But I'm going to show you three builds in this video. Three different things you could do with very similar outcomes. Now, I prefer the first one, so that's my preference. But you might prefer the other ones and I'll explain it as we go along. Before we do get into it, I do want to take this opportunity to invite you guys to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Um, we are very close to 700 subscribers, um, unbelievable support from you guys um, and if you don't want to hit the subscribe button that is okay. Just let me know in the comments down below what you think could be done better on this channel to improve the content. So let's get into it, we've got three builds. The first one is a no stop race on the racing hard tyres. The second one is a one stop race on the racing hard tyres and the third one is for those ones, those of you that like to just go full pelt all the way through it's on the soft tires and it's a one-stop strategy it is quicker i'm going to say that the last one is quicker but the other two are a little bit more stable so whatever you choose three builds here let's get straight into it so the first thing you're going to need to do is go into brand central and i know if you know this already but for you new guys you need to go into europe pop over to audi which is in the germany section once you're in there pop into the showroom and we're going to go and select this car now it's not the cheapest of cars but you will make your money back within within the hour um, and some left over so it's, it's a hell of a car i would recommend you having this because you'll probably be using it in daily races etc um, over the next few weeks we don't want to pop over to the tuning shop go into racing and what we're going to do we're going to buy the racing softs and the racing hards i always buy all the racing tires for racing cars anyway but that gives you the tires that you need then we pop over to this one, get your ballast and your power restrictor from the um, Club Sport. And then we're going to go and um, make the build for the first car. Now what I've done as well is I've slapped a livery on. We're going to go for Fanta, not right, Ribena, but hey-ho. Um, going to get the racing hards and you've got to add 9 kilos of ballast and that's going to give you a PP of just under 800. So you can play around with it, you can probably get to bang on 800 but what's one click left? Um, and then what you're going to do, go into World Circuits and pop over to Sardinia. And we're going to click the World Touring Car 800. So that's, that's what you need to do. That's the only time we're going to be able to use on this one is the racing hard. So and that's what we're going to do. So it's a no-stop race on this one. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. The things you will notice straight away is the car has DRS. And we're going to change straight away to Fuel Mix 6. Um, that, that's all you need to worry about. DRS, I'm still not sure if it actually works. So for the sake of this, I think it might work in terms of allowing bigger fuel efficiency. Um... But that's about it. But I'll probably do another video on that to go back on the video I've done before. But you want to do a lot of lift and coasting in this in this build in this method. Um, you'll find that the what you when you got to be a bit further ahead than the AI because they will close down. So I, I massively um, lifted and coasted. But by the end of lap five, in step lap six, the leaders will come in, and then you've got a free track ahead of you. So at this point, I'm doing one minute forty point one, um, and that's a bang out average time um it's pretty relaxed i wasn't even pushing that hard i was using a lot of laps without the drs and by the lap 13 you're going to come back and start lapping people so that's all you're going to need to worry about just be careful when you're overtaking you don't really need to make any silly mistakes so i nearly did one there at, at the end of the race on lap 15 but we're going to cross the finish line um with a win that, that's what we wanted but now let's have a look at what our time actually is so this is a fuel saving no stop race and we've got 25 minutes and 48 seconds and a half so this is actually quicker than the nissan gtr that i did in one of my previous videos um but the other one did have a stop so here or there but we're going to get our credits uh, and then we're going to actually look at the what you could potentially do with a one stop on the hards now i'm not going to show you the full race but it's exactly the same build the only thing you're doing you're going to push a bit harder this one's on fuel mix free and as we're going to cross the line, we're going to see what sort of lap times we can do with the racing hards um, in a one stop. A 137.2. So you're going to look at around 20, uh, 25 minutes or so with this method. So you just got to factor in your fuel. But then you've got the other option with the racing softs. And the only thing you're going to do is you're going to add 40 kilos of ballast and you're going to move 13% to the rear. That will give you bang on 800 pp, which is what you need for this race. You can, it will go lower, but you don't need the racing hard, so just stick on the racing softs. And we're going to stop around um, end of lap 7, lap 8. It depends on how well you do with your fuel. Um, and as you can see, our lap times are about the 37s. Um, and I think at the end of this lap, I did manage a 36-something. So 
it's a really nice car to drive if you are going to put it onto high fuel mix though what I would recommend is that you um, just be a bit careful on the acceleration but if you're using a high fuel mix don't need to worry about that um, get just short shift into higher gears and, and you'll be really good with the um, with the fuel efficiency so as you can see that's another win so this one here um, was actually a lot quicker so by consider by about 30 seconds but what I will say is this one you've got to be on edge and there's a bigger chance of you making mistakes I nearly did make a few howlers but it's up to you use one of the three let me know what you think about them uh, as you can see just a, just over 25 minutes uh, about 30 seconds quicker than the other one so it's a you know it is what it is but let me know what you think and if you did benefit from this video don't forget do hit a like button um, and also do consider subscribing to the channel and before you go just check out these two videos that I'm going to pop up on the screen one on the left one on the right but just check out the button in the middle as well so I will see you in the next one guys have a good one bye